Breaking news here at 4 o'clock. The Senate has confirmed Ketanji Brown Jackson to the Supreme Court. The vote around 1 o'clock our time ended 53 to 47. Three Republicans join Democrats in this historic vote. Jackson will be the first black woman justice. She will not join the bench until the current term ends this summer. Well, the reaction was immediate. You just saw some of it right there and celebratory this afternoon on the Tennessee State University campus. News Force Terry Bulger is just back from there. A black woman finally becoming something high up Supreme Court justice. It's great for black women all across, Amer not just America, but also around the world. I have people in my family that are lawyers and I just, it's just great to finally be recognized as black women everywhere to finally be recognized. The tiger on the TSU campus roared in sync with the students and news of the first female black Supreme Court justice. I love it. I believe that it's past due for the first black woman to be uh, nominated and confirmed to the Supreme Court, but also it's very monumental considering here at Tennessee State we have a black woman who was the president. Um, this nominee had the credentials and the qualifications and uh, it's, a, it's a big moment for for black Americans and for really for all of America, honestly. The teaching and hoping is what political science professor Kyle Murray has included in his lectures for years. Now it's reality. And so it's a really important moment for them to be able to see that they can now, that glass ceiling is broken, particularly for my young women who are, you know, want to go to law school when, they, when they've wrapped up their undergraduate studies here at TSU with us. And this nomination is confirmed. A 53-47 final vote and a win on John Merritt Boulevard. Terry Bulger, News 4, Nashville.